Oh, sorry, didn't see you there. Welcome to another beer review with your well-read and intellectual host, the Clueless Drinker. I jest, of course, and you're probably thinking, what's with the intro? So, basically, in a sonnet, <laughs> should have said haiku, because it's shorter. Or can it be? I can't remember how long a sonnet has to be for it to be a sonnet. Or is it the prose and the way that I don't know? Look at me. I don't even know about beer, so why the fuck am I going on about liter literacy? Literature. So, um, yeah, today is the first day of, if I can actually remember to upload properly, um, a bit of a brewery showcase week um, where I'm looking at beers from Chapter Brewing. And uh, so you'll be seeing, I think I've got four beers, all kindly um, dropped off by the wonderful lad from Mersey Beers. Uh, we went pretty much like halves on a box from Chapter. And uh, I think I picked up four beers. I've got this, a West Coast, I'm not doing that by the way, an Impy Stout and a Raspberry Sour. So you'll be seeing four Chapter Brewing reviews this week, which should actually work out nicely because we've got Monday today, Wednesday the next one, Friday. <sighs> what the fuck is that? How do you count to four like that, for fuck's sake? And then Sunday is the fourth beer, which will tie in nicely with Stout Sunday. So place your bets now if the next few days you're actually going to see those videos. I mean, look what happened to... What was that other one I was doing? Coffee Beer Week. Coffee Bite Beer Week. That didn't happen really, did it? in an abridged version because of an exploding can and also because I just drank one or two of the beers that I kept aside but that doesn't matter because uh, consistency is for fools and for the illiterates I joke of course um, yeah what a pompous thing to say you know I'm joking anyway so yeah today I thought I'd kick things off with something a little bit simple and uh, I think I picked up two cans of this. So these guys are out of uh, Chaps Brewing Company in Sutton Weaver in Cheshire. And this is a can of the New The Storm, which is, uh, I think, Chapter 10. So is this the 10th beer that they've... the 10th recipe? I'm not too sure how it fully works out. Um, but New The Storm, a Kush style lager, 4.5% ABV, with beautiful beautiful artwork i love the concept of this brewery and i love the artwork um especially their glassware which is a little bit dirty because i had a love lane lager earlier on this evening and i didn't clean the glass because it's like what they say about like uh writers with like a scruffy office it's a sign of genius uh it's not it's just i'm a dirty bastard and can't be arsed doing the simple task of rinsing out a glass um so yeah lovely lovely glassware and i hope they do more styles of glasses in this style with the artwork and uh, it's got a quote of i don't believe in you either with a skull i'm not sure is that a hamlet quote i'm not too sure as i said i don't really bother with classic literature although i've been trying to get into uh uh giovanni Bocca Cheek, Bocca Boccaccio, is that how it's pronounced? I don't know. Uh, the Decameron, uh, which I only picked this up because I'd watched the Pasolini um, adaptation. So I thought I'd read the source material. Haven't got past the notes from the author. <laughs> so I haven't even started reading it yet. That's how much of a fucking posy con artist that I am. But I am looking forward to it. Um, so yeah, fictional beer chapter brewing and uh, the quote i think each sort of beer is based on uh, a literary figure or a piece of literature and uh, this has a quote from they what 
They sicken of the calm who knew the storm. Read the weather from Dorothy Parker. Have I read that right? I don't know. My eyes are terrible. They sicken of the calm who knew the storm. I like that. That's a good tattoo material. But I have said lovely artwork on this. And we're five minutes in, I might even fucking open the beer yet. Uh, picked up two cans of this, and I had enough can pretty much the day I got the, the box, to be honest. And it was really nice. They're actually pretty, pretty nice. That's uh, my attempt at doing the James Murphy LCD sound system impression. Don't even think I got the lyrics right. Oh, look at that. I've always got to have quite a bit of a head. See, I could have ended the sentence there, but and that, that would have just been crude and crass, which I'm never either of those. Uh, but yeah, you've got to have a nice bit of head on a lager. So the Kosh style is probably one of my least favourite um, styles of lager. I don't know, even like the you know, the prestigious, you know, like Gaffel and stuff like that, it's just never really done much for me. Um, but I've had some really nice uh, British brewed Kush style lagers recently. So, uh, yeah, I thought I'd pick up a couple of these. And, uh, yeah, it's exactly what you expect. There's like a tiny little bit of an unfiltered look to it. And uh, just shy of uh, two things worth for a white soapy head. Nice sort of golden, very subtly orange. In this light, anyway, it looks much more golden uh, on camera. It almost has a slight amber hue to it. So, let's see what we get on the nose. It's got that sort of like soapy character, and I don't mean that in that sort of a negative way. But like a little bit of bready, biscuity, ever so slight, um, sort of like underproven bread aroma. With a little bit of a slight herbal, peppery character. And it's got that muskiness that I love from a lager. It smells good. It's really nice and simple. It's not screaming out the glass. It's not going to hear wow or anything like that. You're not going to expect that really at the end of the day, are you? But it just smells very nice. There's like even like a faint, 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 faint hint of citrus in there. But very, very faint. Like a lot of you guys are probably feeling right now. After sitting through yet another clueless drink of production. <sighs> Smells good, so let's give it a taste. Prost, or prost. And uh, cheers, Adam, for uh, passing these over. Mm. That's really, really nice. Nice, soft mouthfeel. Nice um, herbal characters, um, a little bit of like a herbal-esque bitterness on the back end as well. It's smooth, but it's got crisp carbonation on the tongue. It's grassy, it's bready. It's got like, a, not sharp, but there's a little bit of a zing to it. Without it being abrasive. That's good. That's very good. That's a session and a half, that. You get that grainy flavour in there as well. I like that a lot. That's a really good attempt. At a Kush style lager. Yeah, it's got like a peppery rye bread-esque flavour to it on the back end. Oh, mate, you could just demolish a multi-pack of this. Uh, I'd imagine this on tap is proper banging as well. Pierre banging, lad. 
Yeah, it's got like a spiciness to it, which I really, really like. That's lovely. That's absolutely lovely. Really, really. It's rough to a great start with this um, chapter brewing showcase week. I'm not going to give this week a name because that's a very long hashtag to put in your video. Mmm. That's a beautifully brewed lager. That's a really, really damn good lager. To me, it's up there in terms of enjoyment factor, although a different style of lager with the likes of, you know, you sort of uh, well-known Hellers beers brewed in UK, like Don Zoko Hellers, Cloudwater Hellers. Um, what else is there? Uh, those sorts of beers. I can't think of too many, uh, if any, um, Kulsh style lagers brewed in UK that spring to mind right now. But this is damn good. This is really, really good. It's got like a, it's refreshing, but it's like, it's like resting nicely on the stomach. It's a little bit filling. Hearty. There's a heartiness on the, the, the finish. If that makes any sense. That's really, really good. That's even better than the first can that I had. Probably because I was just, you know, knocking it back, which I've done with this. Beers don't tend to last long with me anymore. Which probably isn't the best thing to admit on camera, but it's not like a crutch or anything. I don't depend on this. I can go for a half a day without a beer. Anyway absolutely gorgeous lovely love to be off to a good start with this uh, in terms of a rating i'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 um, just because uh, it could easily get a 10 out of 10 enjoyment factor is defo uh, 10 out of 10 but i'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 because i can't really think of um, recent kush experiences to you know compare it to in an objective objective way injective objective way but yeah lovely lovely stuff indeed highly highly recommended if you can get hold of it i know you can buy uh, mixed cases i think you have to build a case uh on their web shop before i'm not sure if they deliver it or if you have to collect it i think adam collected this box i can't remember it was only less than a week ago but i can't even remember what I did yesterday, let alone finicky details like that. But I'm going to put their, um, their social media links down below. Go check out the web shop. And um, yeah, cracking stuff indeed. Really, really nice. I like this a lot. So in terms of a rating then, I'm going to give it 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. I think I already said that, didn't I? doesn't matter. Just drink the beer and shut the fuck up. But yeah, I would hold this in the same esteem as, like I was saying, like Don Zoko Hellas, uh, Keller Pills from Lost and uh, Grounded, uh, Cloudwater Hellas, which just seems to get better and better with each batch. Um, and then, you know, some of the lagers that um, someone like uh, Torside do. Torside are really good at those sort of Germanic styles. Um, so probably they make the best. I know I'm talking about other breweries right now, but I would say Torside have absolutely nailed the Rauch beer. I mean, of course, you know, you're comparing it to, you know, the Spezial from, I can't remember what the brewery's called, and then, of course, the Schlenkerler stuff. But, yeah, man, lagers, I love lagers. I just, so don't, not just because that's how I cut my teeth in the, uh, the world of craft beer. Cut your teeth, that's when you're like actually involved in the profession, isn't it? You can't say cut your teeth if you just review beers for 10 people on your YouTube channel. All issues, greatly appreciated, by the way. I'm not, I'm not belittling anyone, but um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to the rest of the beers and this uh, little selection, especially because they, they're all sort of like different, do you know what I mean? So it'll give me a good um, sort of gauge of chapter brewing. Uh, but yeah, I just fell in love with the concept of the brewery and the glass 
I'm not going to lie, the glass is what made me want to uh, do a little bit of an order. But I would happily drink this time and time again. So if you've tried it, let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. If you've tried it, I was just trying to stealthily get rid of a piece of crisp that was in my uh, gum. Which I'm, I'm experimenting with crisp butties recently. Um, I was actually thinking of doing a series where I make a crisp butty. I might have mentioned this on a, another video. Making a crisp butty. Starting off with what I think is, and I was a bit apprehensive at first. My favourite crisp butty now, which I never thought I'd enjoy because I was more like a cheese and onion walkers with a bit of a grated cheddar cheese and um, dairy leaf spread. Always has to be Warburton's toasty white loaf. But a bit of butter, Walker's ready salted crisps and then Warburton's bread. The best crisp butty. But I'm experimenting. I wanna I wanna broaden my horizons. Um, so I've got a crisp butty waiting to be devoured, which sort of um, it brings the north together. So we've got uh, the Warburtons bread, but it's got a bit of a Yorkshire twist this time. Seabrooks ready salted, and a cheeky bit of Henderson's relish. So I'm sure it's going to pair very nicely with this beer so uh yeah why did i tell you this information i don't know but um you're supposed to tap your nose aren't you but no no here for the in the context of what i'm going to say you want to make a crisp but you know don't you it's the simple pleasures I've also got an idea for a bit of a Wigan twist where you get a meat and potato pie from either Galloway's or Greenhouse. I think that's how it's pronounced. And you put a little bit of a filling on your crisp butty and you've got a bit of a Wigan special. Because let's face it, a moment of culinary genius and uh, an Anthony Bourdain moment is when Wigan decided to come up with the idea of a pie on a barn. And some people from parts of England were thinking, what the fuck is a barn? A barn cake? You mean a roll? You mean a bun? No, a barn. A meat and potato pie sandwiched in between a barn cake. It's culinary, culinary genius, but it's a coronary nightmare. And that's my pseudo-intellectual literature quote for this video, which I'll try to do at the end of each of the chapter <laughs> brewing videos. <laughs> what the fuck am I talking about? I'm such a fucking ponce. And I have no right to be because of where I grew up and where I still live. But that's it. You've got to think big. You've got to think big. But um, yeah, back to the beer. Lovely stuff. If you tried it, let me know your thoughts, opinions. Go check out Chapter Brewing. Massive thank you to Adam once again. You've heard his name a shit ton on my reviews. Uh, because apparently I'm too lazy to buy my own beer. And I have to have my beer mule drop stuff off and bin cupboard oi oi anyway yeah massive massive uh, thank you Adam for um, going off on this box and I hope you're enjoying the beers that you picked um, yeah so yeah if you tried it let me know your thoughts opinions if you tried anything else from chapter then I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions as well and any recommendations and I hope you enjoy the other chapter beers that I will be covering on the channel this week anyway and don't worry not every video is going to be 20 minutes long so thank you guys for watching you all take care and what are you guys reading give me some reading suggestions down below anyway cheers for watching folks and i shall hopefully see you later cheers